Hi, welcome to The Art of Selling Art. My name is Jason, and if you don't know what The Art of Selling Art is, there is a link to it below. But in brief, it's a community and a program for artists who are focused on the business side of art. So today we're going to be talking about minting on Cardano, minting your artwork on Cardano using my personal favorite tool, Murmada's minting tool. Now there's two ways to do it. So there's two parts to this video. The first one, we're going to be using the individual mint. And then the second, we will be using their, uh, their minting tool for doing multiple pieces and having a vending machine as well as an iframe. So if you're looking for that video, go to part two, which is also in my YouTube's somewhere. The link will be below. Okay. okay, so we're using MetroMermaids.com to do this minting. And the reason that I chose Men Metro Mermaids is because I like what they do. They donate money that they earn with their stake pool to protecting our oceans and ocean restoration. Now, now minting with Mermada is pretty easy and you just have these four steps. You're going to create a website that you can sell your work on and or send a or create an account on CNFTIO where you can list the work that you mint. You can upload images to Pinata and then you're going to fill out the forms on the website followed by listing the artwork for sale. So four steps. Now, so you want to create a website that looks something like this. This is my website, or my, you know, jasonmatias.com, and this is the link to get you to, excuse me, Art of Selling Art. But I have this one collection called Shy Shy, and each of the pieces is here listed. So these ones are sold, and there's these two left. Clicking on any of these will bring you to the place where you can buy them on cnftio.com. So I suggest making a website like this if you're going to mint your work and not use a marketplace to sell it. And what I think is great about doing it this way is you get to control the customer journey and you get to control the experience that people have and you can customize your own site however you like. So that being done, the next step is to upload your work onto IPFS, the Interplanetary File System. And that's really easy. We use, or I use, pinata.com. And once you create an account and you log in, your back office looks like this. Then you click upload and you upload a file. Really simple, select a file, upload it. And what will happen is it'll be loaded like this. And I have three pages loaded. This little link right here is the, what do you call it? This is the identifier on the IPFS and it is what your, your NFT or CNFT is going to link to. So you have, we'll have to come back and copy that in a second. Back to Metro Mermaids, click Mint a CNFT, and you're brought to this screen, which might be intimidating at first, but don't worry, it is quite easy to use. Now, you are first presented with the option to create an NFT, a token, or a royalty token. So NFT, non-fungible asset, token, fungible asset, royalty, this gives you the opportunity to make money when people buy or trade your artwork, or whatever it is you're minting as an NFT. So click on royalties, and the first thing we're going to do is start by creating a royalty. Now, you probably saw that address that I had copied somewhere. Where is it right here? So this is going to be the address that I send my royalty token to and the address that I send my, uh, my NFT to. So click that here, and then you're going to create a password, and then you have to decide whether you want to keep this policy um, open or you want to allow the policy to be reused for up to one year only. This second option is good because it lets the buyer know that nothing else is going to be uploaded to this policy ID, which is a bit of security for them because then they understand that there's, there's no more tokens being put into this policy. It's closed, it's done, and now it is a finite asset. So we're going to click this, and you're going to click this one. You're going to add a password. And then that's pretty much it for this part. The next step is to choose what your royalty is going to be. Now, you, the industry standard I feel like right now is 10%. You can do whatever you want. Just understand that the royalty means if someone sells your work for 1,000 ADA, that 100 ADA is going to go to you. Now, if 
this this number may dissuade someone from actually selling your work or maybe even buying it because they'll be losing too much of the sale to the royalty. I think 10% is is fair. I've seen people do 2%. I've seen people do 15%. I, I think 10%. You can come down here and create the royalty token and it's going to be sent to your address. Then you're going to go create an NFT and you're going to use that same address and that same password here and here. So we're going to do a short name or ticker. This is the short name that is going to be used in the NFT data. So let's just do TASA01. And it's good to use adding a number to it because that already puts in the name that it's a non-fungible item. Then we'll put the name here, TASA, and <clears throat> we'll add the address. Use the password for that address and we are going to here we're going to add the the address or the the identifier for your artwork so let's copy this one let's pick something uh four megabytes two well let's pick this one it's two megabytes there's not a lot of color in this one so there's that is click preview your nft that's going to take a moment so while that oh there it is like i said this is a big white image and uh there it is right there so we click use this address now that is going to add the ifps that you had put up here right there it's going to put it right there automatically this section is for your metadata and you can put whatever you want in here just don't change anything that has hashtags because that data is referenced from above so you don't have to change that now, is this image NSFW, false, copyright? You can put whatever you want in here. I like to use the words, the artist retains the copyright to this image, or you can just add your name. Version one, uh, let's put addition, and we could say there's 100, or whatever number you want, and then you can say um, the addition, the one, this one is zero one or 001. Collection, we'll call it the Art of Selling Art, or we'll just call it Jason Matias Fine Art. And then here you can put your website and your Twitter handle. And like you saw, I changed this over here and I spelled it wrong, but you can change anything inside of these uh, quotations to, um, you know, you can put story and then you can put blah, blah right here, whatever you want. But the max number of characters is 64. If you want to add something additional to this space, some other identifier, what I like to do is copy this. Look, you have to have the JS proper JSON text. So this required a, requires a comma, enter, bam. And then you can put whatever you want here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of I'm out of ideas. So blah blah or no blah, sure. And then you're gonna hit create NFT. And what you get is, or the next screen is going to be an address for you to send some ADA to. Mermada charges a 1.5 uh, ADA fee. That's what goes into their stake pool for each one of these. So you're gonna send money to this address, and you're gonna get your other two ADA back and alongside the NFT. The extra ADA is used to pay for the transaction and for the actual sending of the NFT. So that's gonna come back to you and you'll have an NFT in your wallet and it'll show up, if this is dataless flight, it'll show up here. So there's all of my NFTs. Now, we're not done. Now is the moment where you decide to either list your work on NFT.io or CNFTIO, which is which is this one, or you can, well, first you have to do this. You have to list it somewhere where you can sell it. So you can send it directly through your wallet, or you can have it listed here and you have your inventory. You simply click on something that's not already listed and then sell token for whatever you want it to be. Once you put your price in here, it is going to show up on your live listings and you can take let's say this one, which I'm selling for 50,000 ADA, you can take this address, copy it, 
and put it on your website and link right to it. So if you were to click on this one, it opens up in a new address, a new window, and here you can now buy this Shy Shy piece. And that's it. You have now minted your work with Marmata. You would just rinse and repeat depending on however many items you have to do. So with that, the next version, the next way to upload your work is using their Minton tool and check in part two for that.